Do you want to know how to have lots of megas and neons in your inventory within a few days? Then keep watching the full video to find out how. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make neon super duper fast in 2024 with these new tips that I came up with. Before we get started, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out. And without any further ado, let's just get started with the video. So my first tip is to grind as much as you can. So what I mean by this is to take up your pet that you're making neon. So for me, this is it's this Brachiosaurus. And what you want to do is you want to go AFK and then come back to do its tasks. So make sure you write that you're AFK because sometimes my friends join me and I feel really bad when I'm AFK and they just don't know and they just keep talking to me. And then you want to go AFK. Every 10 minutes you want to come back, do your pet's tasks and then go AFK again. This is really helpful when especially when you're really busy and you're trying to do some chores and you still want to play Adopt Me and make those Megas and Neons. I personally do this tip all the time. I go do my chores and set a timer and then I come back age up my pets and then go afk again and make sure you do this tip because it's really efficient and it really helps you out when you're making those megas and neons i'm just going to remove this from my name because i'm not afk anymore my next tip is to favorite the pets that you're making mega and neon so as you can see i've favorited all the pets that i'm making neon because it just saves time and you don't have to go scrolling through your whole inventory trying to find those pets and that just wastes time so i'm gonna unfavorite all the other pets because then it's just harder for me to find the pets i'm making neon and this way it's just way more easier and it helps me find them really quickly and it saves lots of time my next tip is to have a grinding room or house as you can see i do not have a grinding room or house which is really bad because i have to travel all over the map just to do my brachiosaurus's knees this wastes a lot of time and i could just like make my life much more easier if i actually had a grinding room or house because like this way i have to go to the supermarket if it gets thirsty or i have to go to the nursery if it gets sleepy and especially when you're going afk and then you come back to do the knees when you come back to the do the knees it'll just take a billion years to do the knees and there's no point of you going afk because the tasks are just going to keep coming in and in because of how long you take in doing those tasks and it's really inefficient if you just don't have a grinding room like as you can see i'm literally going to the supermarket to get my brachiosaurus some water and i'm wasting money and i'm wasting time and i could have been doing other stuff so make sure you guys have a grinding room or a house it doesn't take much to build and make sure you have lots of things in it make sure you have like a food a drinking a shower especially and also have a piano and it really helps you out and it's not that expensive and i really recommend if you did have a grinding room my next tip is to have a grappling hook and vehicles so the reason you want to use a grappling hook is you know when you have to go to the pool party and you just have to walk so far away a grappling hook does that for you in like two seconds you just fire the grappling hook and then you land up where you want to go or you can use vehicles as well I personally like grappling hooks more, so make sure you use them and make sure you put them in your favorites so then it's easier for you to access them once again because you don't want to go through your whole inventory trying to find these grappling hooks. So make sure you have a grappling hook or vehicle in your inventory. My next tip is to have some agent potions in your inventory. Use agent potions to make those neons and megas. If you want to know how to have agent potions, you can basically like use a law personally i don't like using a law because you spend so much money like buying the law and then you mostly just get box out of it and you barely ever get agent potions but how i got mine was from the pony pass so as you can see from this one i got two agent potions and from the one before i got one agent potion and it's really helpful i don't think i'll get any more agent potions but i could use this alt accounts so that's how i got my three agent potions you can also use a law if you like i just don't like using laws or you could just age up a full grown pet um i don't think i have any full grown pets oh i have this mega if you like age up its friendship bar then you'll be able to earn a age up potion so my last tip is to use a pet raiser and what this is is basically like a friend who ages up your pets for you and they take payment. 
Only do this if you know that you can trust your friend because lots of people get scammed by this. Anyways, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.